Yashar Jasher 59. And these are the names of the sons of Yashar El, who dwelt in Mitzrayim, who had come with Yaakov. All the sons of Yaakov came unto Mitzrayim, every man with his household. The children of Leah were Reuven, Shimon, Levi, Yahuda, Yishakar, and Zevalon, and their sister, Dina. And the sons of Rachel were Yosef and Binyamin. And the sons of Zilpah, the handmaid of Leah, were Gad and Asher. And the sons of Bilha, the handmaid of Rachel, were Dan and Naphtali. And these were their offspring that were born unto them in the land of Canaan, before they came unto Mitzrayim with their father, Yaakov. The sons of Reuven were Chanak, Palu, Chetzran, and Karmi. And the sons of Shimon were Yemuel, Yarmin, Ohad, Yachin, Sorkar, and Shaul, the son of the Canaanite woman. And the children of Levi were Gershon, Kohat, and Merari, rather, Merari, and their sister, Yochaved, who was born unto them in their going down to Mitzrayim. And the sons of Yahuda were Ur, Onan, Shelach, Peretz, and Zerach. And Ur and Onan died in the land of Canaan, and the sons of Paretz were Chetzran and Chamul. And the sons of Yishachar were Tola, Pua, Yov, and Shimran. And the sons of Zevalon were Cherad, Ilan, and Yachleel. And the son of Dan was Chushim. And the sons of Naphtali were Yatz She'el, Guni, Yetzer, and Shalem. And the sons of Gad were Sifyan, Shagi, Shuni, Etzban, Eri, Arvardi, and Arili. And the children of Ashur were Yimna, Yishva, Yishvi, Beri'ah, and their sister, Sarach. And the sons of Beri'ah were Hever and Malkiel. And the sons of Binyamin were Bila, Beker, Ashbel, Gera, Naaman, Echi, Roosh, Mapim, Chupim, and Art. And the sons of Yosef that were born unto him in Mitzrayim were Menashehe and Ephraim. And all the souls that went forth from the loins of Yaakov were seventy souls. These are they who came with Yaakov their father unto Mitzrayim to dwell there. And Yosef and all his brethren dwelt securely in Mitzrayim. And they ate of the best of Mitzrayim all the days of the life of Yosef. And Yosef lived in the land of Mitzrayim 93 years. And Yosef reigned over all Mitzrayim 80 years. And... When the days of Yosef drew nigh that he should die, he sent and called for his brethren and all his father's household, and they all came together and sat before him. And Yosef said unto his brethren and unto the whole of his father's household, Behold, I die. 
and Elohim will surely visit you and bring you up from this land to the land which he swore to your fathers to give unto them. And it shall be when Elohim shall visit you to bring you up from here to the land of your fathers, then bring up my bones with you from here. And Yosef made the sons of Yashara'el to swear for their seed after them, saying, Elohim will surely visit you, and you shall bring up my bones with you from here. And it came to pass after this that Yosef died in that year, the seventy-first year of Yashara'el, going down to Mitzrayim. And Yosef was one hundred and ten years old when he died in the land of Mitzrayim, and all his brethren and all his servants rose up and they embalmed Yosef, as was their custom, and his brethren and all Mitzrayim mourned over him for seventy days. And they put Yosef in a coffin filled with spices and all sorts of perfume, and they buried him by the side of the river, that is, Shichor, and his sons and all his brethren, and the whole of his father's household made a seven days mourning for him. And it came to pass after the death of Yosef, all the Mitzrim began in those days to rule over the children of Yashar'el, and Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, who reigned in his father's stead, took all the laws of Mitzrayim, rather Mitzrayim, and conducted the whole government of Mitzrayim under his counsel, and he reigned securely over his people.